What is up guys? Welcome back to another video on the Catch and Moments channel. So, today, big day, we are painting, finally. So I've been working on this 5.7 metre half cab in the background with the camera off. And I kind of regret it, but I don't because I've got a lot of stuff done. So I'm going to bring you guys along on the journey of me painting this today, explaining what I've done to it as well. So stick around. This can be another video on the restoration videos. Other than that, it's bright and early. Just had a coffee, just waking up. So forgive me, but we're going to pull this compressor out, give her a wipe down and um, start painting the second coat in the inside. I'm planning on sending them back using um spraying the whole car because then I've got like two weeks to fix it. <laughs> Had a bit of frost last night, left her untarped because I didn't want to scratch the paint. So we'll give her a wipe down. Um definitely don't want moisture on the on the fiberglass before you paint over it. So I'm gonna give her a wipe down. I did rip off the um, big canopy that I was building, hard top canopy. Just uh, the weather ruined it basically. I didn't have it under cover. I had a tarp on it, but then I just got too lazy when it blew off and it would have, I don't know. I just didn't like it at the end. It would have cost me a bit more money to get it going to where I wanted it to be. So I thought if I save money, I can rip it off and I can actually start on getting this thing done. So number one viewed video on this channel is the boat build so we're gonna bring her back I'm sure I keep long we can keep it going till my bank runs out and my missus chases me out of the house oh yeah okay sweet give it another wipe down and um that's it let her warm up on a die tree Turns out we're gonna do a coat, I can't wait. Can't wait, so I'll just get it done. 230 piece, tackle bag, Berkeley tackle bag. Um, we did a giveaway a few weeks ago, and Luke, I think, won it. Forgot his name, but he's a good lad. Um, so we're setting that, he ended up going down to Marion Bay. So perfect, um, perfect person to win it as well. So he ended up sending a photo back, he's received it good bloke and um, thank you so much for watching the channel and keeping up and supporting the channel he does a bit of fishing up there so who knows if maybe we'll collab one day go for out for a fish but for the next giveaway who knows let's hit this channel up to 500 subscribers and we might be doing another giveaway maybe we can uh, include that in a giveaway maybe I'll take one of you guys out for the day or something like that that'd be cool pretty cool but I was thinking of maybe a Shimano rod I don't know but for now I just want to say big thanks to everyone who's supported, who's been uh, sticking around, staying tuned on the channel. Thank you guys so much. So. Bit of work going around in the background, but my um, the hose for the compressor isn't long enough, so I'm going to stick the compressor inside of the boat, which I don't like because I've painted the boat. You know, I've done the first layer, and I don't want to scratch it. But what can you do? Oh, he used to be good. Yeah, I'm just filming a bit. You want to be in the video? I was going to ask. Jeez. Cleaned all the, all the gear yesterday after that paint session. So you gotta make sure everything's dry, no moisture, no water. 
I've released the valve on the compressor, just a few little tricks of the trade. I'm not the best painter in the world, but I know a few little things, little tips. So that's all good. So we are mixing thinners with this one. I'm not sure the ratio. I'm a redneck, so I just put in whatever ratio I feel like sprays the best. Obviously not too much, but whatever it needs to come out that gun properly. Do we get the uh, dust out, the water out, any moisture out? Just to make sure she's clear. And again, another Romania thing is pick a stick for your mixing thing, as long as it's clean. I don't know, 80 to 20, or 70 to 30, something like that. Could be wrong here, but it sprays good in the gun, so. Look at that. Oh. Second coat's coming up real nice. Um, starting to fill in everything else, so still not quite perfect, but it's pretty much right there. So one more coat over. So the third coat's just gonna put it off the charts, basically. It's just gonna look amazing. We did end up finishing the fur. That was the second coat, actually. So that's the second coat on there. It looks fantastic. I'm so happy with it. Um, I had to let that dry for about an hour. I was out the front doing some palm tree work. Just cleaning up, tying it up for dad when he comes back. Now it's time for the third coat. So I'm gonna make up some, mix up some paint. <laughs> I'm not doing the seats with that paint no more either. That was just one coat on seats. It's the wrong paint. That's one piece. Oh yeah, and I've ordered the it's so carpet, bright. carpet as well. So carpet. Lovely. Yeah. All right, Whoa, whoa, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, forgot. Totally forgot the uh, the camera. That's what I like to. Uh, that's what I sometimes do is forget recording what I've been doing. So I've just started laying down the first coat on the outside. As you see, this side is done, completely done for the first coat. You still see, you know, you, uh, you, the color still comes through. But I'm gonna lay the second coat in about about an hour, I'd say. I'm going to finish off the other side on the first coat and then we're going to let that dry and then we're going to go to the second coat. So, further ado, I'm going to get back to doing the other side. Vito! Alrighty guys, so I end up finishing off the first coat. I'm not filming much to be honest because it's just a bit of painting going on. So I don't know if you guys want to see it. You do want to see the end result. So that's why I'm going to try and make it quick snappy for you guys. But the first coat, it's coming along nicely. We've waited around for about 30 minutes to an hour. Somewhere in between there. That probably put dirt all over me boat, but <laughs> gonna mix up some paint and get this second coat on. Let's see if it's dry. Beautiful. She's dry to the touch, not sticky at all. That's as well, like if it's sticky but dry and leaves your fingerprints, that's no good. You wanna let it a bit longer to dry. So I gotta mix up some more paint. Mix up, I mean, by mixing up a bit of thinners. Four layers this year will do the job. Give it a mix around. Hopefully that lid doesn't come off. Hey, what is this stuck? There we go. This one's already opened it. All right. Cool, so that's some fresh unit right there. Good shit. 
Looks a good eye. Yeah. Oh shit. Hey guys. No, no. Oh, you're all about saving the trees. Who we got up to? So a bit of thinners, that's not water, that's thinners. Give it a mix around. This second coat's gonna just put this colour, this bow, everything to justice. Justice crew. So yeah. Alright. Get this bad bad unit on. Make sure it's tight. Look at the second coat look. Oh, it's so bright, it's not Yeah. <laughs> really? Wait, there we go. <laughs> so bright. Cool, so that second coat, that's dry to the touch. We're given a fair bit of time before every coat, let it actually set. It's coming up a treat though. There's a bit, a few little things here and there, but. Ah, oh, what can you do? Day two, no, day three. I'm painting this boat, getting it ready. <clears throat> Third day here, come here real early. Um, I've got only, so I've done all up four coats on the outside, three coats on the inside, turned out really well. But what I'm doing is there's a few little drips here and there from me adjusting the gun, and a few things I'm not too happy about, just in little spots. There's not many of them, so I'm just gonna send them back a little bit and then go over them again. Give the whole boat another good wipe down and then go for the fifth coat. Yeah, that's basically it, so. Very strong paint, which is Brilliant, it's what we wanted. It's tough on the conditions. I'm gonna mix up some paint, give it a coat, and then give those spots that I sanded a few more coats than usual, and give that little bit of coats, and then that's it for today. So exciting, it's done. Just stick around till the end when we peel it back, that, uh, all that plastic. And um, it's gonna look completely different to the hull, the color, but that hull is not planning to paint it, but we're gonna plan to see if we can buff it. We've got a lot of buffing tools, so we're going to give that a buff one day in the future. We're getting close, guys. Get close. If any of you guys got an engine for sale with the controls or steering wheel in SA or Melbourne, and you guys are watching this and you got it laying around and it's pretty good nick, and you want to get rid of it at a good price, let me know. Other than that, let's get back to painting. Enough talk. Ready to rock and roll.
just leaked out the top of the gun, but that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. I want to do one more coat in the inside, and then I've just got to do a couple more coats on where I've sanded it, because they haven't covered up yet. Definitely do it yourself if you want to save a bit of coin. Pretty fun. Do need a bit of equipment, but, you know, I picked up this compressor, spray gun and that for 100 bucks off Marketplace. Pretty good. Does the trick. It's not the best, but it does the trick. For me anyway, I'm a redneck. I'm, you know, my work, my work quality ain't the best, but it gets done. What else can you no. All right, so it's time to uh, take this plastic off. We're done. There we go. Pretty exciting to do that and walk it across. I'm standing back here. <laughs> Shoo wee! Wow! What the heck? Looks so much different without that plastic eye. It just looks like a boat. Brand new boat. Keep in mind this said. Uh, this hole, we're gonna attempt to buff, buff it anyway. Don't know if I told you guys, I probably did earlier. We're gonna buff it out one day when I have nothing else to do on the boat. Or while I'm waiting for parts to come in, we can just buff it out. That'll be a cool video. They're so shiny, hey. <laughs> boat is finally back on the channel and we're gonna try attempt to get this done before this summertime. So stay tuned. There's going to be parts nearly every single week. We'll see how we go with everything. But well, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for the support. Congratulations to Luke for winning that giveaway. Might be doing the giveaway later on. Who knows? Thank you so much for watching. That's all I want to say. I'll see you guys in the next video. Yo!